Lance Armstrong is calling for a debate about the fairness of transgender women in sports. Armstrong will launch a special series called The Forward on Monday, where he will dive into this issue with an open mind. Is there not a world in which one can be supportive of the transgender community? Armstrong asks. Scientists have detailed the deepest peak yet into the period known as the Epoch of Realization. This is the period in which the thick fog that was obscuring light from propagating cleared, allowing stars and galaxies to finally shine. Relatively little is known about this epoch, but the new observations show that star formation was rife. Hybrid Air Vehicles has plans for a fleet of helium-powered airships. It can fly up to 80 miles per hour and has a maximum range of 4,600 miles when empty. TEPCO is expected to receive a safety permit for the release about a week after the inspection ends. The plan has faced fierce protests from local fishing groups concerned about safety and reputational damage. On February 24, 2022, private military company Wagner Group started and stopped a promising coup d'etat in less than 24 hours. Despite infighting within the Russian ranks, the war on the ground in Ukraine continues. Over the past few days, the Ukrainian military has been using long-range fires to strike Russian supply lines and logistical functions in the south. Deandra Hopkins is testing the free agency market for the first time in his career. The New England Patriots are reportedly interested in signing the 31-year-old, but the receiver has made a decision that has left the team's fans unhappy. Patriots fans are questioning whether pursuing Hopkins is in the best interests of the club.